Um, but armed with the knowledge and experience that you have today, what advice would you go and give back to your younger self? Would you do things differently or would you be like, no? Uh, one thing I would definitely do differently is focus on my health. I always ignored that aspect and uh, that cost me a lot. It cost me a year of uh, not having health by my side and um, a, year, a year and a half maybe even. And I would go back to myself and to any budding chef out there that take care of your health. This is a physical, physically challenging industry. So keep that always in mind. So I was putting this off for later. <laughs> But let's get to the health aspect. <laughs> so for those of you wondering why she keeps talking about her health, um, it's not that just because you come from a privileged background, you, you're not going to face adversity. And in fact, this, this adversity that you face with your own body is the worst kind of adversity. So Anchal, can you just tell us and everyone else about what is it that you're talking about? So uh, while I was working for a bakery in New York City, I actually ended up with a slip disc. And um, a lot of it had to do with me not taking care of my health at that point and ignoring all the signs that kept coming in terms of um, back pain. And so one fine day when I was in my morning shift, I used to get to work at 5 a.m. I bent down to pick up a tissue paper from the floor and I could not get up. I was stuck and I was in excruciating pain. There were two people who had to literally carry me to a spot and put me down in a chair and um, I could not move. So I just stu stood frozen and uh, I was very, very fortunate that my parents were visiting me at that point because otherwise everyone else in the city who I knew was al already working. And in our industry, we have all the weird hours where you go into work at 5 a.m. or you end your shift at midnight. So it would have been very difficult for me to call a friend. But luckily my parents were there and um, I called them and since I couldn't move, my head chef said, should we call emergency medical services? And I said, yes, I, I can't move. I'm in excruciating pain. So we went to the hospital, of course, and uh, it was it was quite an adventure. I never thought I would go in an ambulance in New York City to a hospital. And uh, when I look back, my mom says, you're crazy. What did you do? And I said, you know what? I gave you the experience of riding in an ambulance. You would have never had that. And she's like, I was better off without it. But uh, yeah, so we got to Anyway, uh, but what I want to ask you is, and you've not, you, you did not mention this uh, in what you've said, is that I'm sure there was more to the cause of the injury, right? Firstly, you were working for a very reputed uh, cafe, bakery, patisserie yes. in New York, right? Yes. And they made you do really rigorous physical activity, which I don't know how it works in the industry, but I don't think it's on. I don't think it's called for. But so, were you the only one who suffered an injury, or I, I, is it? Does this happen often? It's a very, very common thing in our industries. That's why we have to make sure that our health is on point because um, having a slip disc and being a chef kind of goes hand in hand because it's such a physically challenging industry. You're going to be lifting uh, 25 kg bags of sugar and 25 kg bags of flour. So it's something that um, is very common, but I did not have much knowledge about because of which I didn't take care of my health. And I was working for a renowned bakery in um, New York where they had a three-story kitchen. And uh, we were expected to go up and down with carrying heavy trays or a 25-pound bag of sugar. It was the normal thing. You would not hear somebody not doing it. But um, yeah, usually places have elevators. This one unfortunately didn't. And that's when I lifted that 50-pound, 25-kg bag of sugar and I first felt my back actually say okay you know what this is hurting but me being me I ignored it and went on with my day and worked and I worked for a, for weeks after that and um, this carrying heavy things and running up and down just added to it and when I tried to speak to someone at my original workplace they just said oh it's you're not probably not wearing the right footwear or you know it's just how it is. You have to deal with it. So I wasn't given even the right guidance at that point. Um, but I switched jobs and at the new workplace where things were much smoother, where uh, we had lifts and people to help out when we were carrying heavier bags. Um, that's where actually the repercussion happened because I had been straining my back for so long already. And also being overweight at that point did not help. So definitely um, concentrate on health is something that I would always say. That of course, uh, but 
to someone uh, did it come as a culture shock to you when you went there and someone who has never had to do <laughs> anything much in her life no but even in india do you think that that is different uh, when it comes to indian businesses or business abroad that the lack of labor how expensive labor is that you were expected to carry something so heavy by yourself is it does it happen everywhere or like how does it work in the us it's very common because labor is extremely expensive in india and me being sensitive to this issue i always make sure that there are two people to carry something heavy but um Yeah in in countries abroad it it can be a little challenging to get that help because anyway there are fewer people employed and the stress is a lot higher so that can be an issue as well 